Let's talk about the new Lagos Commodities and Futures Exchange, which was inaugurated last Thursday. And one of the asset classes that a new exchange will be trading is agriculture products. Speaking at the inauguration, the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Sonwolu, says his government is setting up new agri markets for the exchange in Lagos. Akin Alabi, the managing partner at uh, Corporate Farmers, uh, joins me now to discuss the new COMEX and what its impact is on the agri ecosystem. Great to have you in the studio this evening. Thank you, Wilson. It's always an honor to have Thank you, you anytime. Thank you. I love, I love talking <laughs> when I get agriculture, it's like hitting the, uh, the home soil. So, yes. uh, let's talk about this. What is the significance of the new Lagos Commodity and Futures, uh, and Futures Exchange? What does it mean for Nigeria's uh, agriculture and farmers who are boots on the ground? All right, thank you, Bosin. Uh, it's always exciting to talk about agriculture anytime I'm with you. I'm always I'm excited as um, well. You see, what uh, LCFE has done is, um, is to create what I call a structured ecosystem mm. for the agricultural sector. So it means that before now, our small older farmers have issues in terms of aggregation of their commodities. So thereby, there's, not, there's no uh, proper pricing, distribution, market, export. These are limitations actually affecting our farmers. But today, we have a structured Lagos Commodity and Futures Exchange mm. that has been able to provide solutions around this naming crisis that are affecting our farmers today in Nigeria. <coughs> and that is what LCF is bringing on board, and we are super excited about it. Interesting, the relevance of the, <clears throat> this new exchange to yeah. the ecosystem. Uh, and when we talk about wealth creation for, for Nigerian farmers, I'm just wondering, what does an exchange such as the LCFE brings to the table? Okay, let me, let me, let me throw it back at you. Um, you, you. I'm sure the NGX is where you trade your stocks. Yes. You know, on a very daily basis. Mm -hmm. and stocks, bonds, stock bonds you derivatives, know. whatever. So just look at that perspective, <coughs> trading <coughs> agricultural commodities. So it means that you are providing wealth solutions for farmers who have been able to produce cocoa, mm. cassava, mm. beans, so soya beans, maize on their farms. But the question is, where can they properly <coughs> trade those commodities? They're not getting value, value for, their, for their sweat. Ex for their sweat. So LCF, your commodity trading platforms, are provided for farmers to take those burden of them and to trade it real time and get their money instantly, thereby creating wealth back for the farmers that are putting their sweat into the ecosystem. Properly, you think there's a proper, going to be a proper pricing system here? Oh yes, definitely, definitely. You can, you can, you can, easily, you can easily check list. Okay, what's, what's the price saying today? What's the price saying? What's going to price be tomorrow? Can forecast mm. what the price is going to be tomorrow? What's going to be in the next couple of days? These are things that the LCF or the commodity in, market will put in place. In the manner of speaking, so you're begging professionals. Oh yes. Uh, financial markets, instruments, and structure to meet with farmers. Yes. Here, that, that's what uh, this uh, commodity exchange will yeah. do. For, for Nigerian farmers definitely, here. Definitely, because, you know, uh, we have gone by the area where you just have to, you, you plant and, um, or you cultivate, mm. and you do not have that forecast of where your products might end up. But today with commodity markets, what you can do is, once you cultivate, you harvest, you have an idea who is going to buy your commodity. Is it an FMCG? Is it a manufacturing company? Is it a producer? Where is it going to? Is it Lagos? Is it Adamawa? Is it Kano? Is it export? Is it America? Is it USA? Is it Belgium? These and I, are I things we'll be talking that... about Potakot first, and, and, and we, we need to feed here. We, we, need, we need the food here. <laughs> exactly. Because right now, the cost of, of, of food products in Nigeria is so amazing. The oh, yes. value of what you pay higher, then you're not getting value for money. But uh, you are a, uh, an industry professional. Uh, what, what makes the new uh, Lagos Commodity and Futures Exchange different from other, we have one or two other uh, commodities exchanges in Nigeria. So what makes this new one different in your opinion? Okay, uh, because we also work, you know, some extent to the, with the LCFE, uh, what they are bringing on board is innovative in terms of real time, uh, commodities are traded at, on real time, and also provision of warehouses. You know, where farmers are, are being, uh, investing their products, and they have a commodity platform that can aggregate these commodities at a goal. Thereby, they don't have to wait till they start sourcing for buyers. It's easier for them to bring those commodities to the trading platform, trade one and on a single platform, get their money on returns, and boom, wealth is created. So these are things bringing innovation and also bringing dynamism because they have a structured process of workflow. So it's not like the every public uh, market process you have. Like I'm taking my product to Dawanu Market. You know, that, but that, that's, that's rigorous for me. But if I have a commodity exchange that I can say, okay, I have tons of maize. Come and pick it up and put it in your warehouse. They'll be excited. 
this gives farmers a, a, a go ahead uh, implementation process whereby commodities can be traded and taken up from their hands right from the farm gates. So, so I, I guess it's in bulk and water. So, was that what the Lagos State Governor, Baba Jide Sanwulu, was talking about when he said last Thursday that's going to build a new agri market in Lagos for, 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 for this new exchange? Okay, you see, for, for Lagos, I'm always very excited when I talk about Lagos and agriculture. Reason because I'm an advocate and I know what the government, you know, the governor of Lagos State is doing via the Commission of so in terms of building uh, an agri Lagos whereby involving the youth, the women, and every capacity. Now, what the Lagos have seen is that, no, let me give you a, simple, a typical example that we all know. Any commodity today that is planted anywhere in Nigeria, no matter what, 80% of it still comes down to Lagos. It ends up having mouth. Yeah, you, got one you got 20 million yeah. Nigerians in one single uh, location. You know, so, so you can imagine the volume of commodities that comes into Lagos on a daily basis. So it shows the, 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 the strength Lagos has to control these commodities by building well-structured uh, commodity exchanges around specific areas. So there's going to be one in mile 12. Oh, definitely. There can't be one in mile 12. There can't be one in Badagri. There can't be one in Agege. It doesn't stop anything. It's all about proper measures whereby farmers can get their produce easier to the, to the, to the final consumers, to, to FMCGs, to industries, or to other sectors, or, or to anybody they wanted to get to. So, 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 so this will be a new market, unlike the old My 12 market we used to have. Oh, Most yeah. likely, that's because I'm beginning to think. Exactly, because here you have expertise mm. that will be able to determine in terms of these commodities, uh, the QA, in terms of the, the assurance that you're going to get these commodities at the time you need it. And also, in terms of uh, when, when, you, when you produce a commodity, are you maize? There's assurance that those seeds that are being used are premium seeds. Mm. So it gives farmers, again, a sense that, look, if I'm planting for a particular state, I must use specific seed to plant for them so that I can get value in returns on my ROI. So these are things that uh, Commodity Exchange puts together. And I'm sure, and I'm definitely sure that Lagos State is going to be champion all those costs in the next couple of years. Lagos has, um, I haven't said that, but I think Lagos has the least piece of land oh, yeah. um, in the entire <laughs> exactly. uh, 36 Federation uh, state of the, of the, of of, the, of the country yes. and, and the FCC. So the most of this is just water, by the way. But it looks like the states seem to be doing and talking a bit more about agriculture than, than states that are much bigger, even with, with, with all land. Exactly. You see, uh, I'm, land. one thing about Lagos State that I, I'm always excited about is they have a visionaire, and that is the governor, you know, working with uh, full hands like uh, the commissioner, Absolutely, who's also putting in our strength and energy by bringing in youth, women, um, and also uh, strong strategic processes. For example, you have the Emota Rice Mill, you know, also building uh, agropreneurship centers where you can learn free of in Lagos about agriculture around the entire value chain. A couple of days ago, we had the Lagos State Livestock uh, Feed Center where they're actually implementing a process whereby a feedlot whereby you can have cattle you know, or cows, you know, whereby you can, you can get trained on that, uh, uh, the cattle lot, cattle feed lot, and also you can actually have a process whereby uh, cattle ra 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 heading, you know, is easily implemented using urban processes. These are things Lagos than is the, doing. Than the than traditional the, you know, pastoral, traditional pastoral yes. you know, moving around and all that. It's yes. well coordinated, and it's all about strategy. Putting the right strategy in the right processes for proper implementation. You, you've been, uh, you and your team have been around the country from Kebi to a number of states. Oh, I stopped yeah. counting because uh, the next <laughs> time I don't know where you go. We're going to uh, you, you're, the, you're the agric evangelist <laughs> here. So sometimes I, I don't know how to, until I see the pictures oh, and, yeah. and images oh, of yeah. I say, oh, okay, they're somewhere in the oh, country oh, yeah. uh, oh, yeah. on the farm. So uh, in terms of these, the whole agri thing, what are you seeing on the ground in terms of the missing link? Mm. When we talk about between the farm, um, and the and the dining table, the whole missing link in between that needs to be taken care of to ensure that we have full sustainability yes. and we can push back on food inflation. Uh, this is what I still I will still implement on uh, because currently the the fact that farmers are facing high level of insecurity that is one which government is to really tackle that because farmers are moving um, there's a there's a migration serious migration from the farming centers down to the urban centers, that is one. Then two, we need to work more on distribution processes of farmers. There is a, there's a limit where a small order of farmers can actually take its products to within its community. But it's easier when there's smooth distribution process, whereby if you are farming in a particular location in Adamawa, you can take that same commodity with easy distribution down to Lagos. You don't have to wait for somebody that would bring it, that would take it from your farm gate and takes about five, six days 
down to Lagos. There must mm. be those, you know, those we need to close those gaps. Mm. Distribution press needs to be closed off. So, so we need to move certain things closer to where the farms exactly. are. Exactly. And building industrial zones. Mm. Even if you can't move, but build a zone around those places. So, so semi-industry is not so big like not Nestle, Cadbury, Nestle, no, whatever, but, something, but smaller ones. Smaller okay. ones. Okay, thank you. It's nice to Th have you here. Thank you very thank much, you so much for coming. It's an honor. Uh, we appreciate your time. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Uh, the managing partner at um, Corporate Farmers International. Mm -hmm.